Hi, I'm George Hadley with Nbit Wonder, and this is video two of the RGB lightsaber build process. For those of you who just stumbled on this, the RGB lightsaber is a project where we are building a lightsaber in which the blade of the lightsaber can be changed to any color we want. And we also have the first video in which we construct the saber electronics, so you might check that out as well. Um, but in this section, we will be machining the hilt of the saber. Uh, which I'll go over more in a minute, to accept the Sabre Electronics that we built in Part 1. And then in Part 3, we'll be putting it all together. Alright, so let's get started. The main body of the Sabre chassis is a 12-inch chrome sink tube I picked up at Menards. This sink tube has a widened metal flange at the end that I don't want, so using a piece of grid paper as a guide, I mark a nice, even line around the flange. Once marked, I cut away the flange with a hacksaw. We're done with the hacksaw and pulling out the power tools, so safety glasses are critical now. Now comes what is easily the most important part of this project. Carefully measure and cut a piece of graph paper to serve as a guide. Then, draw out a plan for where holes and cuts need to be made in the sink tube. Measure and mark carefully, as the more care and attention you put into this step, the less pain and hardship you will face later when you try to put everything together. My hilt design uses two MHS sink tube adapters I purchased from the custom saber shop, so I need four sets of holes on opposite sides of the tube to hold those in place. Don't forget to add holes and cutouts to allow the peripheral board to stick out of the case. With your guide finished, fit it around the sink tube and tape the ends together. Now, slide the guide off, coat the sink tube in rubber cement, and slide your guide back on. We don't want the guide moving around, and the rubber cement can easily be removed later. Now it's machining time. Carefully cut your peripheral board holes and test the fit. Be patient, as this part may take quite a while, and you really don't want to mess this up by slipping with the Dremel. Once that is satisfactory, drill holes for the sink tube adapter screw. After that, Test the fit of the MHS adapters and correct as necessary. With the sink tube finished, set it aside and begin working on the end cap. My design uses a pommel and end cap purchased from the custom saber shop, so I went ahead and drilled holes in the end cap to accommodate the charge port and power switch. Be patient, as this part takes quite a while. The final part in the saber build process is tapping the blade holder. If I could have done this step over, I would have screwed the blade holder on first to measure where to place the tap hole to achieve a particular aesthetic effect. Remove the blade from the blade holder, then drill the pilot holes for the blade tap. Next, insert the blade and drill holes into the blade. Finally, remove the blade once again and add screw threading to the tap hole using a screw tap with a handle. With everything machined, go over all of your cuts and holes, scraping away any excess material. When you're done, your hilt has been successfully machined. 